I had the banging sick today. Yeah. Why would I get blizzard? You want to say? I don't know. Maybe you can, you can't hear the winds of Thor out there. I mean. All right, maybe a flurry. I, I, I mean, come on! They said a blizzard! I don't even know what a blizzard is, to be honest with you. And don't write in the comment section below. You know, a blizzard is uh, sustained winds of 50 miles an hour and uh, snow drifts, and I don't care. I really don't. I'm fucking off from work. I, I banged in. I, you ever get this work terminology? It, it drives me nuts when you go in. So, put so and so banged in sick. Another day in paradise. Uh, same shit, different toilet. <sighs> Bang it. I called in sick. Okay? I mean, what do you want me to do? Swerve off the road and die? I love all these people with their Jeeps and their Hummers and their and their whatnots. Yeah, good luck calling in sick now. What? Don't tell me you can't come in. You got a Jeep. That's why I never buy a Subaru. Plus, I can't stand Subaru commercials. Oh my God, I love the idea of a Subaru. I know they're reliable, even though they have a boxer engine, which makes no sense to me because you know a piston has to be lubricated all the way around. But you gotta lay the piston on its side. So we'll just lubricate the bottom of the piston. Show me the piston rings at 100,000 miles. They're all worn out on the, on the top. Lack of oil. And don't tell me they have some type of sophisticated lubrication system. Another tweeb in the comment section. Well, you know, there's, there's a tit on the, on the crankshaft that's splashing the oil up to the top of the piston rings. Uh, yeah, this type of thing. Do me a favor. Shut your dumb shit mouth. Everybody knows everything. It's like the other day. I played. I I, I played uh, Devil's Crush. I'm not even sure what game it is. I can't remember anything. And I believe I said I had never played Devil's Crush before. And some fucking. Die in the comment section. You know, you never, you said you never played Devil's Christ. But you did play Devil's, you mentioned that you did play Devil's Christ, yeah. I'm like, you know what? Get off my fucking back. These are 30 year old memories. You understand? 20. Five year old memories. Uh, they're not memories. That they're, that they shouldn't call them memories. They should call them forgots. Everybody tries to give cute names to everything. You understand? I remember I worked in a tire shop. When we would replace four tires on a car, you know, you go up and get the clipboard. What's the story with this car? And, and, and the manager. It's always the manager. It's a four banger. We got a four banger for you. I Stop with the four banger. All right. Four tire changes, please. Okay. See, this is great. This is great. Oh, we got managers running around on the floor. Okay. What's the sit rep? Huh? What's the sit rep? I'm like, what, what are we in Black Hawk down? I'm like, what? I, I don't want uh, the situation report. Uh, yes. Oh, oh, the situation report. Well, the situation report goes a little something like this. We work at a glorified supermarket making no money whatsoever. And you want to know what the sit rep is. Talk to me while we're on the battlefield, asshole. And put down the monster energy drink, for Christ's sake. It's your ninth one today. I don't, I don't like, I don't deal with people that drink energy drink. I mean, I have to. I have to, because it seems like everybody but me. I 
and then they, they come up, they come running up to you. Come on, guys, we gotta get, come on. We gotta get Showtime ready. I'm like, Showtime ready? What, what, what are we gonna have, dancing girls? Who's, go, who's coming, Richard Dawson? What, did I miss something? I didn't get the memo? Showtime ready. Oh my God. Where, where's the elephants? Can you even have elephants in the circus anymore? I'm not going, all right? The only reason why I ever went to the circus is so I could, wa I could watch it, an elephant take a dump the size of a, a paint can. Yeah, remember I used to come out a huge cylinder and you'd be like, oh my God, what an atrocious animal. Get him back in that fucking uh, goddamn train car that they come on. Yeah, and beat the shit out of him while you're at it. It looks like you already beat the shit out of him. Remember it would come out like a big log with hay in it? You're like, oh, what a beast. All right, next. Can somebody buy me one of these fiber optic things that you twirl around? Remember? I, I, that's the thing. I used to go to the circus. And there'd be kids with cotton candy, soda, popcorn. That thing. The fiber optic hair thing that changed colors. Oh, my God. That hit the lights in the arena. Everybody had those things. Not me. Yeah. I'm, I might as well be here sucking my thumb. Can somebody buy me a, a, a glass of water or something? Anything. I would never get anything when I went out. Even a program for the show, for Christ's sakes. Make it look like I went to the I come home, I come back. Oh, yeah, I went to the circus. You should have saw it. It was great. Oh, yeah? Where's your, where's your fiber optic hair thing? Oh, I didn't get one of those. Where's your T-shirt? No. No. You got the program for the show? You know, the one they hand out for free? No, we, we didn't have enough money for that. Every time I went out. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I'd go out to an, an event, I'd come home like this with, with dehydration. Show was great. Had a good time. Yeah. Anybody have like a bag of saline, IV, I can walk around with? That's the one thing, I, you know what? Now when I take, it's hereditary. Now when I take my kid out and he wants like a drink, number one, he, if he wants a drink, I got news for you right now. I'm not buying him anything with sugar. Because he's going to jump, jump around like a maniac. I'm not buying him anything with salt because he's going to want more water. More water that's $8 a bottle. Ah, oh, you know what? <sighs> Callahan here. Yes. We got the heat on. How about that? I mean... Reporting for duty. Through the magic of movie editing, we, we edited out the part where I shut off the scanner because it was already on. And... Oh, oh. And just like that, we're scanning for crimes. You hear that? The plow trucks are here. You know what I do? I park my car about three quarters of the way to the middle of the road. Do you understand? So the plow trucks, if they're gonna plow me in, I, at least I have, I, I have at least three feet of space to the curb. You understand now? Because I'm parked so far into the middle of the road, the plow trucks have to go around my car, but they can't plow snow to the side. So what I do is I shovel out this side I get it so I could just just get my car driving, and then and then I parallel park back and forth back to the curb, and then the next uh, plow comes and takes out the rest. 
I mean, are you kidding me? I got it all figured out here. And then we go out, we go out to a kid's birthday party last night. I'm here to tell you, all right? Between people yelling in Spanish and kids running around, I, I, I'm out. Anyway, we go there, we eat the food, okay? It's like once I eat the food and I get a piece of cakey, by the way, they give, they hand me this huge, enormous slice of cake. I'm like, oh, God bless, God bless. I felt like we were in church. I was like, God bless, God bless. I mean, thank you, thank you. My wife says, that piece of cake's too big. I'm like, yeah, exactly. I mean, I felt like saying end. What do you What do you think? I'm gonna go back and uh, uh, I'm gonna put some in the trash, or I'm gonna What am I gonna add it back to the birthday cake? Oh, what now, honey? What What do you suggest we do now? Anyhow, I ate the fucking cake, and then I look around and I go I go right to the couch. You understand? I go to the couch and. Somebody's flipping the channels on. I'm like, oh, here we go. What's it going to be? Cartoons for the kids? Yeah. Lego Spider-Man. I'm going to have to sit there and and watch Lego Spider-Man, but not hear Lego Spider-Man. Uh, shoot me in the face! By the most miraculous stroke of God, somebody puts on, like, a run on YouTube of the show How It's Made. I'm like, oh, my God, this is fantastic. I don't have to hear a word this fucking the, the narrator says. Out like it, I, they're rolling the theme, they're playing the theme song, and in my head I'm like, eh, bing, boom, boom, bang, eh, bing, boom, boom, bang, da, 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 and they're making the spring, Boop. chop, Boop. chop, yes, yes, like how it's made. So oh my god, I'm watching how they make. Um, what did what, what, what did they make first? Uh, <clears throat> uh, placemats? No, candles. These like these like rolled candles. I don't know. There was a guy in I know there was a guy in the factory. I could tell he didn't get dressed up for the show. Like I always wonder this when how it's made's coming. Are they like all right? The boss comes in. He's like. All right, you better fucking hose this place down, all right? Get rid of the fucking dead animals over here, please. Can we somebody empty out the rat traps? <sighs> How it's made's coming. Yeah. Hey, Consuelo, why don't you, uh, you know, show a little extra tit crack tomorrow, huh? <sighs> and what, what are we going to do? Hey, Javiel, you know, uh, get yourself a new pair of shoes or something. How it's made is coming. Uh, come on. I love it. So you know they scrubbed up. So when you see a factory and how it's made, it's the best it'll ever be. You understand? It's the cleanest it's ever going to be. Oh, yeah. So it's it's hilarious. I see this this factory where they're making these candles. The place is a dump from Dumpville. I said, man, oh, man, what did this look like a week before? And they got the Spanish guy there who's who's cutting this, the, the candle wax. They roll it out into a roll, and then he puts it through a roller or something like that. And he's got the, the shirt on that says, uh, like, best dad in the world. I'm like, Jesus Christ, buddy. You couldn't throw on a college shirt with the company logo or something? So I'm watching. Huh? And, and then it's always the uh, the factory worker at the end. That's putting all the, uh, there's one guy, he looks like a drug addict from Drug Addictville, and his job is to take all, oh, they were making Allen keys, okay? You know, like the, these were like the cheap Harbor, it wasn't even like Snap-on Allen keys. I was like, can you at least go to the Snap-on factory? You know? Oh, I'm sorry, what do you have to drive to China for that? Yeah. And it's always great to see American workers, because every single one of them is out of shape. Yeah. Yeah, and you, they have this look on their face like hopes and dreams crushed working in a factory. I get it. I've done it. Yeah. So I love it. They make these uh, 
Allen keys, you know, they're bent and ground and heat treated and, 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 and they get to the guy that's got to put them inside the rubber sleeve. You, ever, you know how Allen keys come in the, in the rubber sleeve? And he's sitting there and he's got the, listen, you know when somebody's got hardcore tattoos, okay? I know it's all the, the rage now. I want to have a sleeve. Yeah, like Joe Rogan. This type of thing. Tattoos is so uncool now. Thank God I don't have any tattoos. I always wanted tattoos. And I, I decided not to get them. But you ever see the guy that has real tattoos? Like there's a past here. You know, it's like it's like a, a dagger on the forearm. Like one lone dagger. And it, it's all faded out. This type of thing. Yeah. This guy had the dagger over here. And he had like, I don't know, I don't, what, what was it, like a lightning bolt or something like that? Like a, like a lightning bolt, like a kid would draw a lightning bolt, like a... Anyhow, and he's putting, he's putting in the, the Allen keys, he looks like the drug addict from Drug Addictville. You understand? I said, boy, did this guy have a fucking night. And he's sitting there and he's like... I'm like, you couldn't even muster a smile for the cat. I can't be on how it's made. Because if they came up to me, I'd, I'd be like, ha, I'm on TV. For some reason, even when people pull out a cell phone, I got to smile. Ah. Anyhow. So I'm like, oh my God, this can't get any better. I'm watching how to make uh, candles. We just made uh, a fucking... Uh, I forget already. Allen keys. And now we're making oak barrels. I say, I tell you what, I don't know how much they're getting for an oak barrel these days. I couldn't believe the amount of work that went into it. The guy's cutting the oak slats for it. Then they put the, the main hub on and they put the ring on and they're beating the ring around. And then they're heating up the inside of the barrel. They put the next ring on and they're beating it down. And the guy's walking around a turntable. He's, one guy's spinning it. The other guy's hitting with a hammer. Next thing you know, the, the TV screen goes blank. Yeah. Yeah. Sylvia comes over and turns off uh, how it's made to put on a... Uh, Telemundo! I don't even know what the name of the goddamn station is. I'm like, oh, great. There goes my fucking night. It was at the best part. I was like, how are they going to... They had to beat the ring to the middle of the barrel to get the, these, these slats to bend down. I'm like, how do they get that final ring on? How? How? I'll never know! Thank you, Sylvia! Roll the theme song, please. Oh my God. Eh. give their experience about the vaccine. Back in her home, Garcia is still recovering from COVID-19, supporting oh. breastfeeding moms remotely. Some have asked oh. for her thoughts about the vaccine. English, damn it! I share information, but not my own view. Very special day today. Oh yeah, we got packages today, guys. We're ah, Jesus, that heat is hot. Guys, I, 
I don't have to tell you that we're in the dog leg days of winter, okay? I mean, this has always been a trying time for the show. But I mean, with the recent addition of the game station, I mean, we, we're very grateful. We're very grateful. So here we go. Package arrived the other day. I opened it up. I said, what is this? I opened it up. I thought it was something I had ordered from Amazon. Yes. Like uh, new halogen light bulbs for my, my bathroom uh, light fixture. Like who has halogen anymore? They keep burning out. Uh. And then my wife says, replace the light bulb in the, uh, in the bathroom uh, fixture. I said, oh my God, another one, another fucking one. So she keeps on nagging me to do it. And I'm like, of course I ignore her because it's a, it's a pain in the ass to put them in. Cause they're little skinny lights and you gotta get your finger in there and you gotta unscrew like a shield first and then put the light, anyhow. She comes over, takes the light bulb out of the package and hands it to me. I said, what are you doing? You can't touch a, a halogen light bulb with your fingers. Oh, what, what is that? Of course you can. I'm like, no, you can't. The oil, I'm trying to explain to her, the oils from your fingers get onto the light bulb and then when the thing gets as hot as the sun, like a halogen light does, I, how inefficient can a light bulb be? Then the oils burn out the, the... I don't even understand how it works. It does, though. Why don't you Google it? Stop breaking my balls. She sits, she sits I'm lying because I don't want to do it. You can't touch the light bulb. But I, I still don't know why. How would that affect the inside of the light bulb? You know what? Well, I mean, we'll pull out Johnny Blade because, I mean, but the, but I, as soon as I saw, I, I open it up, I see there's a note, I stop. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I stop, I close it back up. I was going to tape it this morning, but my tape gun, for some reason, when you pull the tape out, it goes, and it's three in the morning. So there. Anyhow, I didn't look. That's the point. All right. Here we go. Hey, hey, Jesse. Stoked to have found your channel. Laugh out loud like four hyenas on nitrous. Thanks for helping us take the edge off the world of on fire. Here's a few tokens of my appreciation. Bop, bop. Bop, 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 bop. Uh-huh. Oh, a CD is my band. I've been pushing around since the war days. Oh, wait a second here. Oh, this is, uh, this is Todd. Uh, yes, Todd. Uh, okay. Yes, the bass guitar, the bass guitar is from Gwar. <laughs> you, you know how excited I was to get this email the other day? It was, uh, I was sitting there draining the floor cleaning machine at work, yes. Oh, it's great. Oh, basically uh, uh, a machine. It's a machine that cleans the floor. And then when you get done cleaning the floor, you, you open up a four inch hose on the back and it takes a diarrhea dump all over the place down a big drain. A big drain that always gets clogged. And then, and then um, you know, a shin deep in, uh, in diarrhea water. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I love my job. So while I'm doing this, I'm reading this email and I'm like, oh my God, the bass guitar is from war. <laughs> he did a stint with war. All right. Many, uh, I think uh, through the nineties, I think I, I, I want to be accurate. Um, so it was so, it was so like, 
exciting because uh, I'm sitting here at work and basically uh, I'll do a little math equation for you. Me at work equals misery. It's early in the morning, you know, I, I'm just like, I'm covered in my, my shoes in floor scrubber filth and I'm reading my emails and I get uh, this email saying this guy is the bass guitarist from Gwar and I'm like, what? What? This is blowing my mind. So I go to Wikipedia, just, just I'm like, what is this guy pulling my leg or something like this? And I read the bio and I was, I was literally doubled over with laughter because look, look, listen to this. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I know they, they've been through a few bassists, but, um, if I'm not mistaken, this, this guy was called Beefcake the Mighty. <laughs> and, uh, listen, you got to understand something about me. I mean, am I the biggest war fan? No, I'm not. But I remember seeing them in Rhode Island and, I, th this was around, I remember they, like, somebody gave birth to George Bush, and they, like, they yanked out the, the, uh, the fetus, and they were, like, beating it on stage. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I was like, this is, like, the greatest thing of all time. To me, Gore represents unadulterated, uncensored, just brilliant creativity between like the music and the stage show and it's like entertainment the, the entertainment is just like off the charts you understand i mean you gotta love these guys so basically i guess the bassist moniker is beefcake the mighty by the way and so i'm reading the stats on beefcake the mighty hold on background According to Gwar Mythos, beefcake originates from the planet Cholesterol. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay. Uh, he weighs approximately 299 tons and invented music by stretching dinosaur guts across the Grand Canyon. So, you know, listen, that's all I needed to know. <sighs> My God. Anyhow. Okay. My best to you and the family. Hit me up sometime. Okay. You... P.S. Your art is fucking brilliant. Thank you. That means a lot coming from you. It's about time. Todd. Todd, yes. Todd. Let's get in here. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, look at this. <laughs> Mobile death camp. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at this. Todd hates us all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Let me see. What do we got here? That's a, that looks like it'll fit. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. this oh wow look at that where the wild things wore Aha! wow look at that print there and it's signed too wow 16 of 50 oh my god you got do you guys realize the kind of man cave I have a box of stuff downstairs, okay? You know, I don't have a lot of space downstairs, and I'm gonna have to make up room for this on, in, on the office. By God, that's getting framed. Look at that. Where the wild things gore. How awesome is that? Right, all the guys from gore there in the, in the, in the where the wild things are type of font. I don't know what you call it, style. Oh my god, I gotta get that freight. Oh, it's on nice thick. I don't wanna. Wow, that is something else. Jeez. That's getting framed. That's getting framed. I don't know where to put it in this filthy pit! Right there. Okay. Uh, what do we 
got here? Look at this. Up here, it seems delicate. Oh my god, I think I know what this is. <laughs> Look at this. What? <laughs> ah! It's a spy versus spy guy. It's got a button on the back. Is he supposed to say something? Oh my God, look at this. Did, did, he's even got like a posable hands. And a springing up. Oh, I see that probably operated his arm. Wow, look at that. Oh my God, I love Spy versus Spy. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I remember I would read Spy versus Spy and Don Martin. And then, you know, because you would get Mad Magazine. Oh, my God, to get Mad Magazine. You have any idea what it was like to get Mad Magazine in the mail? Oh, I would wait. And it was like, I would be, I'd, the only time in my life I was a speed reader. I'd get my Mad Magazine, I'd be like, and then I'd wait by the mailbox for the next month to come. Yeah, it was like, okay, oh, only 29 more days to go. I'll, I'll wait by the box. Oh yeah. Oh my God, to get some, number one, to get something in the mail as a kid was such a thrill. Let alone like a package, oh. Or, or a mad magazine, oh my God. And then and I go to, oh, let me go find, what's Don? It was always, you knew what you, what you were gonna get. Let me see, let me see what Don Martin's up to. Yep, yep, yep. Ha <laughs> ha, that was funny. All right, I love how Don Martin's feet used to curve around a curb. If he was sitting at the curb, his feet would flop over the curb. <laughs> I know people like this. Anyhow. Uh, and then it was Spy vs. Spy. Let's see, let's see what kind of antics they're up to now. And then I would run and show my mother. Ma! 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 Look! Ma! Ma! Look! Don Martin! No! Read the whole thing! Ma! 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 And my mom's like, oh my god. She's like, why didn't they have the morning after pill? Back then. Ah. Oh. I should have just squatted on a coat hanger. Yeah, that type of thing. Got another one here. Oh, look at this. Okay. This I, I might have to build a bookshelf just to, to put these two guys on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got the black spy here. Wait a second. I know what goes on. You put the arm up. Aha! <laughs> Smarter than your average bear. There you go. Spy versus spy with Kung Fu grip. Look at that. Take that right in your right in your beak. Oh, here we go. Ready? Ready for this? Ready for this? I mean, come on. I could do that for hours. <sighs> Sip of coffee for spy versus spy. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Okay, and here we go. Look at this. Here, here's the here's the album. Oh, look at that! What a great cover.
Is that Sasquatch? I've been told that I walk like Sasquatch. No, seriously. You ever see the uh, the video? This looks like the one in the video where he turns around. You ever see the video of Sasquatch? When he walks like this? He got, he, number one, the hands are like this. And he walks like this. And then he turns around and he looks and he keeps on walking. Yeah, I've been told I walk like that. Yeah, that's great. Real booster for the self-confidence, by the way. You know, you walk like Bigfoot. Oh, yeah? Thank you. Yeah, you know your mother sucks cocks in hell? How about that one? I love that line. Well, well we do have a CD player. I just I just tossed it out the, the door here. Let's see if it still works. By the way, we got, oh, look at this, stickers from the band. Yes. Oh, look at that. These are the nice vinyl stickers, right? Oh, yeah. One on a toolbox, one on a Mazda. That's how it goes. One on a toolbox, one on a Mazda. Here we go. What a packing job, by the way. By, by the way, oh, what is this? Oh, <laughs> it's the little, it's the little spy versus spy, uh, you know, death case here. Oh, I knew there was going to be a bomb. I knew there was going to be a little bomb in there. Yes. And a saw. Yes. I knew this was coming. You see that? Okay. You put the saw in his hand. Yes. Like... Okay, all the tools that you need to be a spy. You understand? Okay, you get it. Yeah, look at the, the crazy thing is this bomb in this box. If you open it, it goes off. Okay, but yeah, look a club, binoculars, a, a little magnifying glass. Yeah, and you need you need it in a case that says spy on it. Yes, very incognito. Oh boy, here we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Mobile death camp t-shirt people, come on. Yes. Sell the Vatican, sell the Vatican, feed the world. A little powerful message, powerful message. Sell the Vatican. Who could afford it? Oh my God! The marble floors alone. Ah, oh, go in there with a, go in there with a chisel when nobody's looking. Oh yeah, just set up like a cardboard box thing. Get it in a cardboard box. Tink, 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 tink. Get a piece of that marble out of the floor. Yeah, it's from the Vatican. I wonder how much you could get from like a piece of marble from the Vatican floor. Put that in your bathroom. Imagine that a piece of marble. Hanging in your bathroom from the Vatican. I want to be one of the facility guys, the maintenance guys at the Vatican. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please. Oh, come on. You go to fix that tile. You bend over. They don't, they'd all be like taking photos of you bending over, trying to rape you. <laughs> come on. Get, come on. Can we get real already? They're like, here, we, we have your work uniform ready. And you're like, why does it have that flap in the back like uh, like a five-year-old's pajamas? What's going on here? Never mind, just get under the sink and uh, fix the plumbing. You get under the sink and the cabinet has like hydraulic rams that, that, that hold you. Ah, I'm stuck under the sink! Uh, yeah, uh, hold on, Father... Uh, for, I, I'd, I'd, I'd be, be raped by the first, uh, yeah, Black Cardinal. That would be my luck. Yes. He's stuck under the sink. What is this porn videos where people are getting stuck under things? I saw one the other day. Well, I, how did I see it? Somebody showed me. 
A girl got stuck under the under the couch cushion. I said, geez, how do you do that? And what do you do now? I You got to, I don't know, fuck her. Right? Honey, you stuck in the couch cushion? How the fuck you now? This is what's going on. I'm getting too old for this. <sighs> wow, Todd. Amazing package, brother. I tell you what, uh, there were th few, uh, so, uh, like, few, few, I can't even speak English now. Yeah, happens when you're 44. Uh, there are a few things that got me so, as excited as knowing that uh, a member that played for Gwar, okay, uh, emailed me. Yes, it was the talk of the dinner table. I told my wife, like, who Gwar was and what they do and what they represent. And I said, do you know that the bass guitarist, he invented music? Yeah. He stretched dinosaur guts across the Grand Canyon and started playing. She's like, I don't know. She doesn't get it. Women. Yeah. And then uh, then I showed her some, some gore footage like of, of the band. And she's like horrified. And I'm like, well, that's the point. Yes. That's the point. She's like, I don't get it. I'm like, perfect. That's perfect. That's the way that it's supposed to be. Yes. So let's see if we got, uh, if the radio works. It, it should still work. I don't see why it wouldn't. There goes Rita, by the way, outside. All right. Oh, yeah. The CD player is, uh, well, it's gone. It's gone. So, yeah, uh, hold on. Let me see if I can find the CD player. Ah, yes. Here it is. I found it. That's the... This is the part that plays the CDs. Here's the disc. The disc drive. Alright, guys. I mean, we got another package here. Thank you, Todd. Everybody check out uh, Mobile Death Camp. Yes. Uh, and in the spirit of the Bithead 1000 show and to celebrate Todd, I, I think we should do a, I can't even think of a name for it. Random, I was thinking like rock and roll random Wednesday. Ah, uh, random. Let's just try out a random game. Can we please picture picture time? Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at this! Mr. Smash O broke a, a, my drum stool. Oh my god, this is my my original drum stool. From when I'm a kid. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did a lot of painting on that drum stool. Wow. Witness, witness the power of Mr. Smash O. Will you please? Oh man, I need a new step stool out here. Oh. See, that's what I get for not buying double braced. My drum throne. I paint on this thing. How am I gonna get picture picture down? All right, this is gonna be death defying. Bye.
Jesus Christ, what do you do for this show? Gonna need a controller. the Edison line, pipe through the Sansui 1010, charging atomic batteries. Oh, I've, I've, I forgot here. I forgot we have, uh, hey, more stuff. Oh, I'm glad I found this. What is this all about? Oh, here we go. Yes. Stickers. I love stickers. Mobile death camp stickers. Yes. 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 Oh my God, what is this? Oh, what are these backstage passes? Oh, oh fantastic. Look at that. War backstage passes? Oh my God, so cool. Lust in space support. 25 support, lost, lust in space. Oh my God, this is awesome. And, and Gwar, established 1955. Gwar, beyond hell. Oh. Oh, man, my, my next door neighbor used to have backstage passes hanging all over the place. Oh, yeah, the who, uh, you name it. Uh, <laughs> I can't forget for, for Kiss. Kiss, um, he had one of Iron Maiden where Eddie is smoking a cigar and he's got, like, a, uh, a brandy. I remember I wanted it so bad. It's the only time I ever thought about stealing something. To be honest with you, and I'm like, ah, what am I gonna do? Steal from my neighbor? Hey, can't do that. I know. I know. Can we turn off the lights of attrition? And get you guys into prime time position. Here we go. This one's for Todd. Oh, <laughs> the camera is right up my nostrils. All right. Got a random game here. Well, this is this is how we test your luck, Todd. We're gonna see what, what game we pull up. We're gonna go to all games. M M M. The controller's not working. Why? Oh, there it goes. We're gonna go to all games, and we're gonna hit the magic random button. Here we go. Rave Master Special Attack Force. Game Boy Advanced. All right. Oh, oh, right above Raystorm, by the way. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Konami. I'm ready for the music, buddies. Just give me the music. Go. Hey Todd, hear that bass? All right, here we go. Story mode, of course. Yeah, bore me to death. Oh, look at this handsome guy. I like the blue hair. Let's go. And he's got the sword from from Final Fantasy. Yes, 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 yes. Tot 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 tot. Yes, yes. Tot tot. Oh, it's a fighting game. Here we go. Okay. What do you do in a fighting game? Every Every fighting game from here on out, you do a Hadouken. Wait. How come I can't move now? How come I can't move? Oh, 
Oh, there we go. What the fuck? Oh. Hold on a second. <sighs> Return to the title screen, please. I'm having trouble trouble with my controller here. No, no, no. We'll stick with this guy. Come on! What did I lose? My religion? How do you... I got oh, oh, down, 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 up, down. All right, we're button mashing. Up, up, slurp, up. Yes, up, down, down, right. Right, up, down, 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 down. It was a draw. Uh, up, down, uh, uh, uh. I'm stressed out. Got him. Come on, bitch. Oh yeah, take that. Come on, come on. I gotta concentrate. Up, left, up. No, come on. Up, up. I can't jump here. Come on. Got him. You're tired, right? You're tired, bitch, aren't you? Come on. Oh, we got a little Smash Brothers going on. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. This is a match, guys. I don't know if you see the... We're, we're tied. Okay. Yes, up, up, down, right. Yes. Oh, yeah, bitch. Take that. I just want to kick this guy's ass. Come on. That's it. Yes. No, 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 no. Up, down. Up, no, no. Down, down, down. Shit. Frustrating. Whoa! Okay, um... The fuck? Alright, you're giving me a headache. Not a bad game. Not a bad game. I can get into that. For some reason, my controls fell off. I don't know, something wasn't working right. Yeah, the controls. Um... All right, guys, do you realize you just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization? And you better believe that. With the 4K face!
We'll see you next time.